Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about the process by which CPU switches from one process to another process called context switching. Uh, welcome here and to understand context switching, we have to understand uh, a term that is called PCB a process control block okay so what exactly is a pcb is uh, is about uh, it's a pcb is a data structure okay it's a data structure data structure maintained by maintained by operating system containing containing all information about process right so everything that is related with the process that information it contained in a data structure called process control block now so there can be several different uh, 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 parameters or you can say uh, the values that it can store and few of them is a process state uh, process number PID maybe right Pro program counter value I'll come to that registers memory limits list of files okay so these are the these are the data structure that uh, process control box maintained uh, so now let's uh, just uh, this is just uh, uh, more in detail the things uh, that uh, program uh, process control block is information associated with each process uh, also called as a task control block or also you can call it as a process descriptor okay so that is also sometime used as process descriptor okay so that is also a term that is used and it is having a process state whether it is running waiting or uh, suspended uh, program counter what is a program counter is a program counter is a register that always contain the next instruction okay next instruction to be executed right so that always contain and that value is also in is in this PCB CPU register content of all process centric register you may be your process may be in the middle of some computation middle of computation and that value is stored here in this register so that is also there in this CPU scheduling algorithm that what kind of the algorithm we have not covered this topic right now but there are different ways uh, by which process can be assigned to the CPUs and that information is called as a scheduling information and few of them is let's say FCFS first come first serve and there are few uh, scheduling algorithm that use preemption memory management information that is one of the important aspect of the operating system but since we have not we haven't learned this topic till now but there is uh, what kind of the process where the allocation part of the memory of the process that is used here accounting information such as that how much time cpu used uh, and what is the clock time elapsed start and start and the time limits okay io information io devices allocated to process okay list of the open files so these are all our accounting information and that comprise of a single pcb for a single process so now it will maintain as many as pcbs are there as many as pcbs uh, that it is going to maintain uh, for each process so it's a very big you can say big information big uh, information or the data okay data it is uh, storing in this data structure for each process now the context switch is 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 a, is a process by which a cpu or cpu switches okay cpu switches to uh, cpu switches from let's say one process which is in execution process to another process 
right yeah. so one process to another process and th there can be many and if you look at the state transition diagram then you will find that uh, if the process is in in a ready uh, but always i need to draw this diagram and running and then terminate it and then we have a block state so now you can see that there can be plenty of reason by which a running process can can go into a different state and that required another process to be present over there so one of the reason can be what it can be terminated right if it is terminating then it can be uh, i need another process to be running in the cpu uh, it can be interrupted it can be interrupted and it will go to the ready state uh, one more state is there that is called new it can be blocked waiting for an event or for input output operation right and in that case i need to assign right assign uh, a cpu to another process and that is we are calling it as a context switch now this summarizes uh, this context switch and uh, statement wise when a cpu switches from another process uh, the system must save the state of the old process if it is terminating you don't need to save but if it is uh, if it is uh, let's say going into the block state or in the ready state then you need to save that uh, save that process and load the save uh, and load the save state of the new process via context switch so not only you have to save the current process but you have to also load the save state of the process so it might be uh, it might have run or it may be running for the first time but whatever the status that you have to load it context of the process represented by the pcb just i explained you that what is a context of a process so everything there is a program counter process scheduling algorithm accounting information the input output files everything now this time is a pure overhead right remember this thing that you are not doing anything when you're switching from one p1 to another p2 so that time is a context switch time but that is pure overhead and why we are calling it as an overhead because there is no useful work while switching uh, the more complex the operating system the pc will be longer and it will take a longer context switch uh, it is a time dependent on the hardware support okay so the as much as hardware support that you are uh, getting it from there that depends uh, it depends upon that now so this is a typical environment and in that environment uh, you have a process p0 and it is executing in operating system and there is a process p1 so this is an execution and suddenly at this point of the time an interrupt or system call occurs then what you will do here is is you save the state of pcb0 and then here uh, the dot 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 means you will do the some serving serve the serve the interrupt by executing what isr and then either this time this will be ideal and this process p1 will be ideal this will be in the ready state and it may not guarantee that from the ready state the same process will be uh, you know take uh, same process will be uh, same process will execute again assigned to the cpu so here uh, it reload the state from the pcb1 and then again it get the interrupt call uh, okay so here uh, reload the state from pcb and then it is executing and again it get the interrupt call over here while executing pcb1 then again it serve the interrupt and save the state of pcb and then after doing some task again it reload the state from let's say pcb0 okay so that is a normal normal cycle that will be repeating may not be with p0 and p1 but other process so this is the normal cycle of execution of process right so i hope you agree with me and again that this interrupt thing will be coming again and again uh, why context switch uh, uh, sorry when context switch can occur and and that reason is i i told you that uh, just now i explained you this in this diagram that it is terminating or interrupt or waiting for an io and that is summarized over here that uh, termination io or an interrupt right so that is a context switch let's see one question from this uh, particular topic that is called context switch and that was asked in gate 2000 which one of the following is not necessarily saved on a context switch between the processes 
okay so now here in this case there is a general purpose register yes it is saved there was an entry for pcb program counter was yes translation look aside buffer tlb and that is a part of your for memory management and that required for translation purpose mmu so even if you remember those entry tlb was not there so not necessarily saved so not necessarily saved that is your TLB and that is translation look aside buffer okay so <clears throat> I hope that uh, I'm clear with this concept of a very standard concept that is called context switch and you will agree with the, all the topic that I explained here okay so that's all for this discussion thank you